how to convert an image to a PDF on a Samsung phone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to convert any image file to a PDF on your Samsung phone for free. And if this video helps you, please consider giving it a like and also subscribe to my channel because that really helps me out. So I'm going to be showing you two different methods to convert an image on your Samsung phone to a PDF file for free. And the first way will be with an image from the gallery here. So if it's in your files, Hold on, I'll show you how to do that later, but I'll go ahead and open up the gallery. And what you wanna do is open up the image that you wanna to convert to a PDF. Once you have the image open, select the three dots in the top right, and then select print. From there, all we need to do is go up to the top, and yours might be on all printers, select save as PDF, and then you can simply select the download button right there, decide where you wanna save it, and then select done. And then if I go to my files, we could see the image and then the PDF of that image that I can gen open up with Google Drive. Now, if for some reason that doesn't work for you, or you wanna be able to manipulate the image or make it smaller before you actually save it as a PDF, the tool I recommend using to do that is going to be pdfgadget.com. Now, full disclosure, I created pdfgadget.com because I wanted to be able to recommend something that does not require you to upload your PDFs to a server. So all the tools on this website work within the browser on your Samsung phone. Nothing ever leaves your device. Check the description. I'll have a direct link down there. Once you get to pdfgadget.com, simply scroll down until you find image to PDF. You can also find it in the top menu. Select that. And then all we need to do is select choose files and then just select photos and videos. If it's within your gallery, or if it's on your files, select my files. I'm gonna choose the one from the gallery, and then I'll choose the image that I took of the watch. So once you load the image, you can first select portrait or landscape if you want to change how it is aligned on the page. I thought portrait would look good there. The next option we have in the dropdown is going to be the size if you need to change that. Fit to page will be best if it's an image that you took with your phone, but you can also do original size and that'll zoom in a bit if the detail that you wanna show is in the middle of the photo. Additionally, you can do stretch to fit if it's a smaller image and you want it to be larger, but fit to page will work best for this one. You can also rotate it using the two rotate buttons if you need to, just to make it so it's aligned right. And then if you need to remove one, you can do that. You can upload multiple images as well. Once you're ready, select create PDF and then select download PDF. And then you can open that up and you will now have a PDF of that image. If this video helped you, give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing to my channel.